the history lesson, kids. Uh, um, uh, any, uh, you'd watch the show, and anytime somebody said, hi, Bob, um, you'd take a sip, and, and if, you said, if they said something like, you know, hello, Bob, or something different, you'd chug a beer. Um, so anytime you hear the knucklehead, if you want to take a sip of whatever you have in front of you, and you should have something in front of you, because I'm much better to an inebriated crowd, um, you can go ahead and do something. I'm going to take one now. Delish. This one's called, Oh Christmas Tree, Oh Christmas Tree. It takes place during Christmas. In college, oh, that's a great sound. In college, the knucklehead lived in a large two-bedroom apartment above a liquor store. A most dangerous and convenient locale. The store, the apartment, the whole building, in fact, were owned by the family of the knucklehead's roommate, Buddy, who was, as a matter, as a matter of fact, his very bestest all-time Buddy Roo. Perhaps the sagacious will draw an edifying parallel between the close, easy proximity of so many temptatious spirits, wines, and barley-based be beverages and the ensuing story. Perhaps not. Christmas break came, and with it, low spirits and little cheer. For while most of their affluent, super-preppy classmates were off skiing in sun-kissed Aspen or South Lake Tahoe, or bumping volleyballs on the white tequila-colored playas of scintillant Puerto Vallarta. Knucklehead and Buddy Boy, work-study scholars both, labored at the liquor store, downstairs, stocking and checking in order to earn enough for next month's, next term's books and lab fees. Prospects for chicks weren't looking so hot either. <laughs> 